In this video I'm going to demonstrate a way to join several images into a single mosaic image. Here I've got 14 images that I want to join into the one mosaic image. Each of these images is 45 frames of 45 seconds exposure at ISO 1600. Taken with my modified Canon 1200D and a CLS fit one with the 135mm lens. They're all stacked in Deep Sky Stacker and processed in Star Tools. You need to try and get each image as close as possible when processing. The colour, contrast, detail and crop size are all important. I'm using uh, Photoshop CS2 which is a free download. Uh, first of all we click on File, Automate, and go to Photo Merge. From here, we need to browse for our files that we want to stack and mosaic. Uh, this is my set all ready to go, so I'm going to select them all and open. And I'm just going to ask to uh, convert these to 8 bit, and that's fine, we'll let that go do its job. Okay, right. we couldn't uh, automatically arrange these, I'm not surprised, and so we need to do it all manually. So grab an image that you want to start, I'm going to start with the Ryan and Horsehead Nebulous, and I'm going to twist it, I know it needs a bit of a twist for my final image, so I'm going to start it around about there. Zoom in maximum and select your pointer again and go for a, the second image. Oh, this one here I'm going to use, it's got an obvious point of reference. So you have to manually rotate this to get a rough alignment and then use a couple of stars either end of the image here I can see these star stars here and there we go there's some there that line up so you can see where the out here, we to go clockwise. Get a bit closer. Now it's really quite important to get as close as possible match. Um, you can see that as I drop this, it has lined up pretty well, especially if we go to advanced blending and preview. You see, it's not bad. Um, but the image is still twisted and what it will do it won't twist the whole image to fit it will bend the image it will bend this part to blend in with that image so the next image if it goes across two joints there's going to be a slight difference there so it would be very important to get that twist in the image and the final Oh, drop of the image. Good. No, that was a good fit. Um, so yeah, take care in aligning the images. It really is worth it, especially if you've got plenty. I mean, it does blend well. If you're out of line, you can see it's almost blended there with this mile out. Um, so it really is worth taking the time to align the images perfectly. Right here I'm using this red star to align and these two blue stars here to align and this is needs to go anti-clockwise a few degrees. More. 
little bit more. You can see that's uh, still a bit out. So if I have to drop it there, we'll find the line, but it didn't align this part of the image. So that cow isn't getting the right rotation, it's important. You know when it's aligned because it all becomes clear. There's still a fraction of twist in there. Drop of the tile is quite important. Right, next tile there's stars there that are line and stars there that are line. Somewhere near it, but and you've got quite a couple of pixels. A bit fiddly, but it's uh, Got a little bit of a gradient there which can be removed after the mosaic is complete. Back into full view, zoom. As you can see, I've uh, been storming ahead. Um, just going to put on past three tiles I've already aligned this one actually This is quite tricky. Slightly, but the advanced blending has compensated for that. Maybe a little distortion here, but 
quite a little bit final tile one of my favourites where does it go there? I remember when I was taking the image of that little nebula was there. That was a good just fit, this one does. As you can see, <coughs> I've, uh, I've done a little bit of cropping, building the black around the edges and uh, sorted out a little bit of the gradient. So the beauty of these images are a lot of detail, you know, you can still zoom in and get fairly good detail right across the image. Um, showing up many nebulas in this one and star clusters jellyfish, monkey head the cone nebula Christmas tree nebula rosette nebula the Hubble variable nebula horse head, flame Orion running man Hermit's loop um, it's fun doing them it really is fun and interesting and uh, this shows you just how small we are really